and welcome to another YouTube video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the next section of the SEMrush tool. In the previous video, we discussed about topic research and how it could help you analyze your competitor's content and how it can help you gain access to all the information that is related to a certain topic and the subtopics and the categories which can be used to write about the same topic so it was extremely useful ex extremely beneficial and you can use it to optimize and analyze your content and to plan your content ahead of time as well so now that we're done with it we're going to be discussing seo content template and seo writing assistant there is not much to see in the seo content template section because it's a premium feature and uh, it is not accessible in the uh, version that we're currently reviewing so if you scroll down we can see that this is how it works you enter keywords that you want to target with your content we analyze content on the Google's top 10 ranking pages for your target keywords and you receive recommendations on how to create SEO friendly content. So this is how it's all going to plan out. And it's almost the same as what happened in the topic research section, but since this is a premium feature, we cannot uh, go through it properly. So we're going to move forward to SEO writing assistant to see how exactly does it work. Okay, so the thing about SEO Writing Assistant is that topic research, it gives you ideas to write about. SEO Writing Assistant helps you optimize your writing from every angle possible and especially in terms of SEO so you can understand how feasible and how attractive or how relevant your content is and there's an overall score that you can get on the basis of the nature and tone and language of your content. So SEO Writing Assistant you can open it in SEMrush and you can also get um, add-ons for Google, Google Docs and WordPress. So that is extremely useful because that means that if you have any content that you want to publish on your site, you can directly go to your WordPress plugin and you can use this in order to optimize it, to see whether uh, it's usable or not, or whether it's completely optimized or not. And you can do, do the same for Google Docs. If you have something to do with Google Docs, if you use Google Docs often, you can use this tool to uh, analyze your content. But apart from that, if you don't want to go anywhere, neither to WordPress nor to Google Docs, you can use the Open and SEMrush button in order to analyze your content right here. So since this is an seo writing assistant so most of the elements that you can use to analyze or highlight your content are related to seo there's there are heading there are different ways you can highlight different keywords in your content and how exactly you can insert links and other relevant things in order to optimize the relevancy and the uh, creativity that you have placed inside your content and once you've written or pasted the content here you can get the score from right here you get and there are four factors on which it judges the nature of your content readability seo originality and tone of voice so and then okay we have readability here and the target is 52.6 try to match the recommended value which is an average for your google top 10 competitors so it doesn't only help you optimize your content just uh, by giving you examples or by optimizing your techniques in terms of seo but it also helps you understand how exactly you can see what's going on with your competitors and which what is the style of writing that they're using in their content to attract the targeted audience and what should you be aiming for in order to do the same so for readability we have the target of 52.6 here and the same goes for all other things in here okay so let's just say that if we insert a text here if you scroll down we can see the total words the target is 1609 which is the average for your Google top 10 competitors. And you can also see if there are any issues with your title, if there are any issues with your content, 
You can also see any targeted keywords that you want to use and how many times they're appearing in your content. And there are recommended keywords as well. So if you have something that you want to uh, enhance or highlight in your content, you can use the recommended keyword as well because SEMrush is giving you an, a very elaborate idea on how you can optimize your content and especially as compared to your competitors. So this is extremely useful. And then there are alt attribute issues in which your text with images to make it more appealing for the reader. So it doesn't only help you, uh, it doesn't only help you analyze your written content, but also to insert pictures and how you can attach all text on them to uh, give them more of a decent look. And then we have link issues as well. So you can also insert links in here. See, Samrish is prepared not just to give you um, a textual idea or to optimize your text, but also to help you understand how you can insert more elements into it to increase its appeal and increase its charm. And then we have originality, tone of voice and originality. So it also helps you see uh, what kind of direction you're taking in your content and then there's originality so you can check plagiarism you can check the tone of your content you can check the word limit and you can see link issues you can see alt image issues and recommended keywords and whatnot so there is nothing that you cannot improve in your writing with se writing assistant that's why it is an se writing assistant because it has all the elements you need in order to create a perfectly optimized article in terms of search engine optimization so that's it for today's video you can use this section to help yourself or to help your content writers create better optimized and enhanced content